Talk us through what you have here. There are so many varieties. Well, what we've got here is all the white mushrooms that you see on the table and in the trays in front of us. We actually grow on my farm here. And then these are the standard close cup mushrooms and these are the large open flats. Both the same species, but just one is more mature than the other and a slightly different wow. harvesting technique. So they're exactly the same mushroom. So this, this beauty was we'll, we'll this. We'll go into that. Wow, Absolutely. that is great. And so what are some of the other mushrooms at the front here? We've got some chestnut mushrooms, which are very similar to, to the white mushroom. A little bit stronger taste, a little bit more of a woody taste to them, but in essence, very, very similar to these. Okay. We've got some shiitake mushrooms. We've got some dried shiitake. Grey oysters, yellow oysters, pink oysters, and these are autumn chanterelles and some more dried mushrooms here. These have been grown in, in the UK, but originally the, the, they originate from China. I was going to say shiitake doesn't sound very, no. very English, does Not it? At all. <laughs> so how would these be grown? Because I, I kind of recognise, when you look at it like this, I recognise that. From well, in, in the wild it would grow off... off um, a tree basically, off the trunk of a tree, That's so you'd see I've it attached it. to there. And they grow off slightly different compost than we grow. Our mushrooms grow off a compost which is made out of wheat straw. These mushrooms, when they're grown con commercially, are grown on wood shavings. And would you put all these in the same kind of dishes or different dishes? They're all, all mushrooms are very, very versatile. You can put them in anything. You can make soups, sauces, casseroles, even put them fresh in salads these days. Mm. The, the only exception is the dried mushrooms. Dried mushrooms don't look that pretty when they're, in the, no. when they're dried, but whatever you cook those dried mushrooms in, they'll soak up the flavours from, from what you're cooking in. So if you're cooking them with meat or other vegetables, they'll absorb the flavours. They'll go very soft, um, like a normal mushroom, but to the eye, they look a bit ugly. They're a bit ugly and they remind me of the sponges that you put in the bath. You know, sometimes you get the sponges that start really close up and then they just open up the longer they're in that's the water. Right, that's what they'll do, basically. Wow, it's very, very clever how it's done. Now you might think that in front of us here we have quite a few varieties of mushrooms but in fact there are over 3,000 different types of mushrooms and toadstools that grow in the UK. Even cooler, there's one type, that, or some of them, that grow in the dark, glow in the dark, don't they? They do. You they don't do. eat those ones that glow in the dark though, do you? You don't <laughs> eat the ones like. that glow in the dark and there's several, several varieties of wild mushrooms that are poisonous as well. Right. So my advice would be, if you see a mushroom in the wild, don't eat it, don't take yeah. a chance. 